In this tutorial, I'm going to show you my entire logo design process from start to finish. I'll show you this logo design project I just finished called Wren Stationery Company. I'll walk through the exact steps I used to go from a blank page to a finished logo. And by the way, I put together a free workbook that follows my exact design process. So you can grab it in the description below to create a logo for yourself. So this is my logo design process that I use for every project that I have ever done. I start with a project brief, then move to mind mapping, research, sketching, rough drafts and critique, and then present and deliver to the client. I'll walk you through each one in this project for Wren Stationery Company. Step one is the project brief. Before I start any project, I want to have a document that outlines exactly what we're trying to accomplish in this logo design project. And it's a document that you and your client must agree on. So I usually start with a design questionnaire and I ask the client questions about their competitors. What do they sell? What is the history of this brand? And what is the goal? What are we trying to accomplish together in this project? And then I'll rewrite the answers to those questions into a one page brief and have my client review it and sign it. So we are essentially starting on the same page on this project. And the logo design project I'm doing today in this video is for Wren Stationery Company. They sell eco-friendly notebooks, planners, and stationery. The goal of this project is that they want a versatile logo that reflects sustainability, elegance, and creativity, and the tone should be natural, refined, minimal, and approachable. And the audience is age 18 to 40, mostly females, creative professionals, and people that love to buy gifts. Step two is mind mapping. This is where I try to get all the ideas out of my head onto a sheet of paper. And I will write the client name in the middle and I'll begin writing words and making branches off of that client name of anything that pops into my head related to this client. So it can be words directly from my brief, can be feelings that are evoked by this client, objects, random connections, anything that pops in your head. So when the page is full, I'll then begin to highlight words that feel the strongest. And then those words, I will turn them into a list of nouns. And these nouns are going to be the launch pad for my sketches. Step three, visual research. This is my favorite stage of the process, actually. This stage is where you gather lots of visual images and put them on a board or put them in one place. So you have visual inspiration and essentially a mood board. So in this stage, I'll collect black and white icons, competitor logos, fonts, color palettes, photographs, anything that sparks ideas and really helps me figure out where I'm going to take this brand visually. So I'll look for these images in places like Google Images, Pinterest, Instagram, and then I'll dump these images into one place, something like a Fig Jam board. I start to look for patterns. What are some things that I'm seeing repeatedly? Are there cliches that I wanna stay away from? Are there visual ideas and directions that I want to explore? I start to see these things when I'm looking at all these images together in the visual research stage. Step four, sketching. So I'll take my visual research and my noun list and I'll start sketching quick thumbnails. So I like to actually have my visual research up on a computer screen in front of me. And sketching can be very easy. It's really just tiny, messy, fast little thumbnails. So these don't have to be perfect drawings. And I'll try to push myself past obvious ideas and also take two different concepts and try to combine them. So in this stage, I tried to take a feather and a paper airplane and put them together in a single icon. So that's the beauty of sketching. You're not restricted by a computer screen or by the tools in a computer. Your hand is free. And you're gonna come up with some good sketches and some really bad sketches, and that's okay. We want to explore in this stage and just come up with lots of visual ideas. I'm usually trying to get at least 20 or more sketches. So quantity over quality. So in the workbook that I've included in the description below this video, you can find some sketching prompts and also a mind map template to help you through this stage. Step five, rough drafts and critique. So once I've got a few sketches that are moving in the right direction, I will then take them into the computer 
And you can take a picture of your sketches and upload them into the design program. I use Adobe Illustrator for all my logo design, but if you're not comfortable in Adobe Illustrator yet, you can move to a program like Canva. I always start my rough drafts getting in the computer. I start in black and white only. So it forces me to focus on shape and clarity of my designs and my ideas. I'll bring those sketches into my design program and I'll begin to recreate them with shapes. I'll try different layouts. I'll start to add type and eventually I add color as well. And I save every version as I go because you never know if that great idea is gonna be at the beginning, the middle or the end of the process. You want to have many, 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 many rough drafts. Sometimes on projects, I have hundreds of rough draft logo concepts. Once I have a few solid rough drafts, I then want to get feedback on my designs. If you have another designer around, that's great, but sometimes you just need to show them to anybody, a friend, your mom. When asking for feedback, here are some questions that you can ask of the person giving you the feedback. What's working well? How could your idea be stronger? Do the graphics fit the client's business? And if your drafts are more complete, you can ask about font choices, color, and clarity. So I take that feedback, I continue to refine my rough drafts and continue to simplify the ideas as I'm going. Be sure to check that project brief and reread it and make sure you're still hitting the goals that you decided with your client at the beginning. So step six, present and deliver. Once you have some good rough drafts, you then want to compile your work so far and put it into a simple presentation that shows your process. And I always like to present to my client. I never want to email a PDF to the client. You want to be able to explain your ideas. So this simple presentation, it can start with your brief, it can show the mind map, a few sketches, and then the final design. And I also always show my logo in context in mockups that make sense for the client. Mockups allow your client to really visualize how the logo is going to live out in the world. So Ren Stationery Company, for instance, they make notebooks and planners. So obviously putting this logo on a notebook or a planner made sense. And also putting this on a coffee cup because you might be drinking coffee as you're sketching in a notebook. And once you've presented to your client, you should receive feedback from the client and you might go through a couple rounds of revisions with the client before landing on a final logo design. Once the logo is approved, I prep all the final files together in a package. So you want different formats for print and web and you want those files to be named very clearly and then package them up in a nice way that makes sense for the client and is easy to use. So delivering polished files is really the last step and makes this project feel complete. So that's how I go from initial concept to final logo design for clients. If you want to try this process yourself and create a logo design, get that free workbook in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and I'd love to see what logo you design. So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up and leave a comment below and subscribe to Cry Studio for more graphic design and logo design tutorials. Thanks so much.